Hello everyone, I welcome you all for SVG tutorials. In this video, I am going to derive an important derivation from beta gamma function. So that is deriving the relation between beta and gamma function. So for that, you should know what we require to derive beta of m comma n, beta of m comma n is equal to gamma of m into gamma of n divided by gamma of m plus n. Moving on to proof of this, first let us define the definitions of beta, gamma. So that is beta of m comma n is given by, by definition beta of m comma n is equal to 2 times of integral 0 to pi by 2 sin power 2m minus 1 theta into cos power 2n minus 1 theta d theta. I am going to name this definition as 1. Similarly, I will define gamma of n. Gamma of n is defined as 2 times of integral 0 to infinity e power minus x square into x power 2n minus 1 dx. I will name this as equation 2. Gamma of m is equal to 2 times of integral 0 to infinity e power minus y square y power 2m minus 1 dy. I will name this as equation 3. Next gamma of m plus n is defined as gamma of m plus n is equal to 2 times of integral 0 to infinity e power minus r square into r power 2 times of m plus n minus 1 dr. Name this as equation 4. So now from equation uh, 2 and 3 using equation 2 and 3. So I can find the product of those two as we require to prove beta of m comma n is equal to gamma of m into gamma of n divided by gamma of m plus n. I am going to consider the product of gamma of m into gamma of n. So I am going to get gamma of m into gamma of n is equal to 2 into 2. 2 into 2 becomes 4 times of double integral. Integral 0 to infinity. Integral 0 to infinity. Now basis are same e power minus x square into e power minus y square. Add the powers. I am going to get e power minus of x square plus y square into x power 2n minus 1 into y power 2m minus 1 dx dy. So now we will go with the substitution put put x equal to r cos theta it is a standard substitution y equal to r sin theta then Squaring and adding these two, I am going to get x square plus y square in the left hand side, which is equal to r square cos square theta plus r square sin square theta. If you take out r square as common, you are going to left out with cos square theta plus sin square theta. According to identity, trigonometric identity, we can write cos square theta plus sin square theta as 1. 1 into r square becomes r square. So, as we are changing Cartesian form to polar form here. I am going with the substitution x square plus y square equal to r square and x in terms of r and theta, y in terms of r and theta. So the limits will be changed here. So therefore change d dx dy to r dr d theta and the limits will be changed from r changes to 0 to infinity theta ranges from 0 to pi by 2. So therefore equation 5 becomes equation 5 implies that so gamma of m into gamma of n will be equal to 4 times of integral r equal to 0 to infinity integral theta equal to 0 to pi by 2 e power minus x square plus y square is nothing but r square into r x is nothing but r cos theta 
whole power 2n minus 1 y is nothing but r sin theta r sin theta whole power 2m minus 1 into dx dy is nothing but r dr d theta r dr d theta so now simplifying this we are going to get 4 times of 4 times of integral r equal to 0 to infinity theta equal to 0 to pi by 2 e power minus r square into r power 2n minus 1 into cos power 2n minus 1 theta into r power 2m minus 1 into sin power 2m minus 1 theta r dr d theta just i have applied loss of indices here and your bases are same add the powers of r what we are going to get so the powers of r is 2n minus 1 plus 2m minus 1 plus 1 so plus 1 minus 1 get cancelled you are going to left out with 2 times of m plus n minus 1 so which is nothing but 4 times of integral r equal to 0 to infinity theta equal to 0 to pi by 2 e power minus r square r power 2 times of m plus 1 minus 1 cos power 2n minus 1 theta into sin power 2m minus 1 theta dr d theta. Now separating the integrals we are going to get 2 times of integral r equal to 0 to infinity e power minus r square r power 2 times of m plus 1 minus 1 dr is multiplied with 2 times of integral theta equal to 0 to pi by 2 sin power 2m minus 1 theta into cos power 2n minus 1 theta. So by using the definitions what we have named equation 1 to 5. So I, I can observe that here equation 1 and equation 4 will play an important role here. So by using these two formula from 1 and 4 we can rewrite this as from 1 and 4 we can rewrite this as gamma of m into gamma of n is equal to gamma of m plus n into beta of m comma n so as we wanted to prove that beta of m comma n beta of m comma n is equal to gamma of m into gamma of n all divided by gamma of m plus n hence we have proved the relation between beta and gamma I think you all like this video. Thank you for watching. I think you all will like this video. If you like this video, do subscribe to my channel and press like button. Thank you all for watching this.